I can't believe what I've just seen. A PJ professional has torn apart my golf game. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Really not that bad, is it? Is it? Can't be that bad. And then from there you're gonna have some. It is flat. Oh, it's a... Easy chip. I haven't shanked one in weeks. Hi everyone, it's James Robinson here guys. Welcome back to another episode of Short Game Saturdays. Interesting one today. Um, this is what it looks like outside. And some PJ Pro somewhere in the world who maybe used to be a mate who's now probably more an acquaintance has heavily criticised my golf game. In fact, it's kind of tore it apart. I've got shorts on as well, even though it's snowing outside. That's weird, isn't it? But comment below if you do that. But, um, guys, proper random one I know, but we have started a second channel. So if you're in the UK at the moment and you're in lockdown and you're bored just like I am, Go over there and check it out. We've got some quite cool stuff on there with Laura and the dog. And if you're not in the UK, you're more than welcome to go and check it out as well. Let us know what you think. Now let's get back to today's video. I suppose we better take a look at it, haven't we? Chris, do your worst. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a short game Saturdays, which seems to be common now as uh, I'm in the sunshine and unfortunately James is back in the cold. So I am out here doing some seasonal coaching here at the Els Club. So big thanks to the Els Club and a big thanks to the CH3 Performance Academy. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go through James's online lessons. So at the moment, me and my, myself even and James both do online lessons. And so you can still improve whilst you're in lockdown and start to get ready for when the season comes back around or we let loose again after lockdown. So James has sent me some pitching videos over and he sent me some chipping videos over. And then after this, guys, if you come over onto my channel, we will be doing another putting review and see how James is improving, how he's coming along with that putting ahead of the season. So the videos I'll put on screen now are going to be showing through what I've looked at when it comes to James's pitching and his chipping action. So we've got two very common things. And the first thing here is his takeaway. So we know his takeaway, and I know he gets a lot of comments on his swing in general, but about his takeaway, when he's over the ball, he starts to get a little bit inside and then from there, it works a little bit behind him and he struggles or sometimes to hit a straight shot. Really not that bad, is it? Is it? So for his pitching and for his chipping, we're going to use this same drill. So we've got an alignment stick in here and all I've done is I've set it at the same lie angle as the club that I'm using and very much in James's tradition, I've even got a 60 degree just because I know James will practice with a 60 degree in his garden, although I know it has snowed back at home, so maybe just hitting softballs in the house at the wall. So, what I want to do is explain why we're going to use this. The way to set this up for James is nice and easy. Just don't hit the alignment stick. But again, I've put the ball two feet in front of the alignment stick. So depending on how well, just depending on your level and how you want to start this, this is as hard as we can make it. So the closer that is, the more we're going to hit that. If you start this drill and you are somebody who knows who works it a long way behind you. Can't be that bad. Maybe start with it further away and start to see if you do bring it inside. And then from there, you're going to have some feedback and then gradually bring it closer. So you're really then focusing on that. You have to keep this club nice and wide and out in front of you and not letting it drop inside. Because what I see a lot of times is when people drop it inside, they can open it a lot, come over the top and maybe hit some shanks. I haven't shanked one in weeks. Well, we haven't played in a long time, but. James doesn't hit that many shanks to be fair to him, but James is one who does the opposite move. He'll bring it in and it's very close. So as we've seen in his previous chipping uh, videos that we've done with his short game, very much leading edge digs in, takes some diverts, even around the edge of the green, starts to dig in, and sometimes he'll duff it in front of him. Hmm. He's making sense, he's making a lot of sense. In all seriousness, I hope you guys are learning from this. If you guys kind of struggle with a similar thing as I do, then make sure you do maybe save this, I don't know. Also, Chris has no idea that I'm saying this. We're kind of halfway through the video, I presume. He's giving away an online lesson to you guys. I don't know when he'll do it, but he's definitely going to give one, a, I think he'll give one away. I'll ask him. I'm not going to ask him. So basically, go over there in his comments, subscribe to his channel, obviously, because that's only polite. Like his video that he's putting on the same time. I think he's tearing apart my putting technique as well. But then get in the comments and just put, I want a lesson. 
and then it'll, I mean, if, if you all start doing it, you'll wonder what's going on. So, so I want a lesson, subscribe to his channel, like his video, if you're gonna like this one as well then, fantastic. Let's hear what else he's got to say about my, yeah. Not too many times now, luckily. Or sometimes he'll catch it, he's not got enough loft on the club, so it'll go too far and it'll go straight past the flag and he's got himself a 20 footer from a relatively easy chip. So from here, he's gonna take his normal setup and he's gonna hit some shots where now he's trying to keep that club out in front of him, not let it drop inside. So James's first movement normally is this kind of movement. So we don't want that to happen now. So he's gonna keep it nice and wide and be able to get there. So, 60 degree, came up short, what a shock, but James loves it. So the second thing we're gonna do, and we're gonna mix this in, so we're gonna use it with this alignment stick in as well, so we're reinforcing two things at the same time. So the videos that I'll now put on the screen, or James will, because James will be editing this. Yeah, I am doing the editing after this. So the videos that will now be on the screen show, as he comes through impact, he has a lot of motion with his lower body and his foot, his right heel comes up and his left toe comes up. And it's very much, he's, as opposed to being controlled and working around this leg, he's very much twisting. And that becomes, well, that comes from the backswing. So the backswing gets inside. It then has sometimes a little loop. And then his feet will have to do that to try and rescue it and get a decent contact. So what we're gonna do now is nice and simple, is we're gonna get his left. Right and left, Chris? That one, yeah, okay. Big toe in line with the ball. We're gonna drop his right foot back and we're gonna make a combination of, we're trying to keep it wide, but then on his finish, his right foot's off the ground, but he's very much in the hole of his left foot. So he's not sneaking into the heel and getting into a funny position. He's letting that weight go onto his left foot and throughout the left foot. This is going to help him get a, a more neutral path, get a better strike, better fly, and hopefully a bit more spin control. He'll hopefully as well get his ball flight lower. Because he's turning that body better, we might take a little bit of loft off. It'll come in lower and it'll have more spin. So sometimes James pops up and it comes short, not just because he's using a 60, but sometimes because of his technique. So. Here we go, so he's gonna get here. Normal setup. Turn through to the finisher there, popped up a little bit high. So again, it's making sure that that ball doesn't creep too far forwards when James does this. So, clean the club, take his setup. So keep it nice and wide, turn through. And you'll see there that launched a lot lower, had some more spin and stopped around six feet from the flag. So it didn't pop up. I had good interaction with the turf. Again, because we're using this body better now for James, it'll be a little bit shallow. It'll get it going more direct. So there's two quick drills. Again, if I was doing, and I have done an online lesson for him here, that this is what he can work on in the house. So James can do this in the spare room so he can just get his drills, even if he's not hitting a ball. I know he's got plenty of those 50% ball, so he could use those and have the dog running after them. So, foot back, make some motions, try and get this set in there with balancing act. I'm sure James can pull it off somehow. And then he's able to improve that. So the two things we've looked at there is James's takeaway coming inside and then too much rotation in the lower body as we've gone through. So two drills that can work together you can see the results that he can give you. So even whilst he's at home, he can practice this. So when we go back on the golf course, he might have an outside chance of beating me. From here, he's gonna take his norm. Guys, thanks for watching. If you want to pop over to my channel, I will be releasing his putting drills. So I've got a few of his videos. We're gonna go through what James needs to work on with his putting. As we always see, he always needs to work on his putting. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this short game Saturdays and I'll see you again next week. Always needs to work on his putty. That's nah, probably fair, actually. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that. That was another episode of Short Game Saturdays, albeit a slightly different one. Um, and can I just say, I apologise for like this office is absolutely, it's not in the best shape at the minute, but there's loads of fantastic videos to come from these boxers. Uh, and apart from that,
if you want some free lessons, go over to Chris's channel. You know what? For those of you who stay till the end, I'm going to give one away as well. So it just shows what you get for staying to the end of videos. Comment in this video. In fact, let's keep people guessing who haven't stayed to the end. Comment, I want a lesson in this video. Like this video, sub to the channel, and I'll give away. I'm going to give away a couple. I'll give away three to five. So probably five. Guys, thank you so much. Smash that subscribe button below. Go check out Chris's channel. I think that was quite interesting. I'm going to actually work on that. Just not out there. See you tomorrow. Bye. Also, guys, remember, if you are in the UK and you are bored because of lockdown, make sure you go check out our second channel. Uh, I think the video is about the dog today, which has been much anticipated. So get over there and check it out. The link is in the circle now on the right-hand side of the screen. Click that and you will get straight over there.